Welcome to No BSTS episode 25, where we take a look at use context and how to use it and how to type it. I'm Jack Harrington at Jaher on Twitter. So we've talked about a bunch of the different hooks in React, but we didn't cover use context because for me, it's kind of its own thing. And I wanted to kind of segregate it into an area where we started talking about state management. So let's go back to our original application on episode 24 and take a look at where we were. So we have a to-do list, it's pretty simple. You can add a new item like that. And let's say that we want to have over on this side over here, a copy of the current to-dos. So how would we go about doing that? So that should stay in sync with what's over on in the first list of to-dos. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna create a new component here and we'll call it app wrapper. And it is just going to wrap our current app. And then we're gonna put that in a grid and make it two columns. Just like that. Okay, and just to try this out, we'll just go and duplicate this, just to start off. And let me export it as the default. Hey, perfect, great. Okay, so if I go do hello here, should I expect to see it over there? No, I should not. So I think what a lot of folks run into is when they think that, oh, I'm gonna use this new, my new custom hook, use to do's, it's gonna be shared implicitly between any of the consumers, all of those to-dos. It's just like some sort of global singleton, but it isn't, it's just a function, right? So let's go and use context to actually share the to-dos between the, those two applications. All right, so we'll go over here to use to-dos. And the first thing I'm gonna bring in is create context. And then I'll also bring in use context because we're gonna need that. And down here, I'm gonna define our context. So I'll call that to do context. And I'll use create context. And now I need to share basically the output of this, the use to do's. Although in this case, I'm gonna call it use to do's manager because I'm actually going to export a couple of uh, other custom hooks that give you access to the shared to do's and add to do and remove to do. So I'm gonna call this use to do's manager in this case. And what is the output of that? Well, the output is use to do's managers type a result. That's the output of it. And that's just the return type of use to do's manager, except that use to do's manager is a function. It's not a type. So in order to get the type of that, we have to say type of. And now we can go over here and we can say command K, command I, and there you go. There's your typing for the use to do's manager result. And that's what we're going to put into this shared context. So the way that we do that is to open up the generic over here and just paste that in. Now create context does take a default value. And so in order to have a default value that conforms to that type, we need to make it an object and then give it just some basic initial value state. So, and this is not even gonna be used. This is just to satisfy create context. So I'll make an empty array of use to do's or to do's, make an add to do, which is just a blank function like this. And the same thing for remove to do, and that should satisfy. Okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. So let's not export that. And then down here, I want to, we need to have a new component called a provider, which provides the context down to all of the consumers. That's how context works. You have a provider at the top of the component stack, and then that provides the context, the shared context to anyone who wants to consume it. So we're gonna make that easier on ourselves by creating a new component for that. And we'll call that to do's provider. And it is going to be a React function component. 
and it's going to take a set of initial to do's. Just like that. Now let's bring in those initial to do's. And we're just going to return a to do context dot provider and put in there the children. So I need to also bring in the children here. And we'll close that tag. All right, now we're getting some grief. So why are we getting grief? Well, if we go over to problems, we can see that this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, it says that Boolean is not assignable to a type and it's not, this is, TypeScript usually gives us some very, very good warnings but and errors, but this is not one of them. What's actually happening here is that I'm using the JSSX syntax. I'm using uh, this syntax right here, the, you know, being able to specify a tag in your TS files. But unfortunately, the name of the file is used to do's.ts and not tsx. So what I need to do is just really just add that x. So let's go here, change that out to tsx. And now it's happier, although I need to reboot my server to make this happen. And the issue at this point is I'm providing no initial value. So for the value, I am going to provide a calling of use state manager like that and initial to do's like that. Okay. So before you freak out and you say to yourself, what, what is going on here? Because this is going to give us a new instance of to do's manager every single time. Well, it is going to get run every single time, but that's exactly the same as it would be if I were to go and do something like this and declare it up here. And then use it right here. These are exactly the same thing. There's no semantic difference between those two. So I'm just going to go with this because it just reads a little better to me. All right, so there we go. Not too bad. Okay, so now we need to bring back, well, let's start it off by actually just using this. So let's go bring to-dos provider in down here. So we'll bring in to-dos provider. And we'll bring that down here to the bottom. And I'm just gonna wrap this whole thing in that to-dos provider. Now that's going to provide that context down. Let's go and set our initial to do's. I think we had an initial to do's there. So let's, let's do that. Let's copy and paste this guy into here. There we go. So there's our initial to do's. We'll say that's a, Hey there, use context. Just to make sure that we're using the right one. Cool. Awesome. So now we need to go and get the context data, the to do's and also the add to do or remove to do from the context. So I'm going to use for that use context. So let's go down here and we'll say export const and then I'm going to make a new use to do's. And all that's going to return is just the to do's. So I need to do you, I need to get the context. So in order to do that, I'm going to get context and I'm going to use context to do that. And I just give it the to do's context. Cool. And now if I do command K command I on this, it tells me what my context is. I've got to do's, I've got add to do and remove to do. So I don't even need to do CTX there. I can just do to do's and then return that. Just like that. And I can do the same sort of thing for use add to do's and use remove to do. Add to do 
and remove to do. And obviously the typing on these is wrong. So here's a fun thing we can do. We can go over here to the use to do's results manager type and then say, hey, out of that, we want the add to do type. Cool enough. And then over here, we want the remove to do type. Nice. Okay, not bad. Now let's go back over to our app.tsx and we're going to start using these. So we've got use to do's and we want use. So we've got use to do's and we also want use add to do and use remove to do as well. And let's go down here and start using these. So in here, let's just say to do's is going to be use to do's. Add to do is going to be use add to do. And use remove to do is going to be use remove to do. Just like that. Okay, cool. Let's see if it actually works. Bam, very cool. Good starting point. Good starting point. Excellent. Now they're both absolutely in sync between the two of them. That is super cool. So let's actually go and refine this just a touch. And I'm going to drop down into here. And I'm going to make a new one called just show to do's. And all this is just going to do is just show those to do's. And I'll just reuse that UL item. Cool. I'm not going to use, put in a remove button in there. I'm just going to have those, that piece of text. I'm not going to do the click. Great looking good. And now over here, we can just go and replace that second app with just show to do's. And this shows you that you can have, it's not something special with app. You, know, you can have multiple instances of, of varying types of components that both look at these, the same data source. Oh, that's cool. Even with react hot refresh didn't actually, it's kept the state and everything else. So that's really nice. So one more time. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Okay. So in the next video, we are going to continue our look at different ways to manage state in react using TypeScript. Uh, we are eventually going to get into Redux, so stick around for that. In the meantime, of course, feel free to hit that like button if you like the video. And of course, leave any comments you might have. The YouTube algorithm really likes comments. So if you want to give this video and this series some love, just ask some questions, put some comments in there, just say, hey, thanks, or ask any questions you might have. You can also hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you'll be notified the next time a new one of these videos comes out.